night before my daughter was born, I was sitting out in the car while my wife was in labor, and I was absolutely having a complete panic attack. I thought, this is probably an enormous mistake. I, I mean, <laughs> a little late to change your mind. Uh, <laughs> my wife's inside in labor, and I'm sitting there thinking, what if this is the biggest mistake of my life? What if I don't love this thing when it's born? What if this never-ending burden that never goes away? I don't know if any of you men have ever had this feeling the night before your child was born. Of course, I was madly smitten by my uh, daughter and then by my son. And um, um, when my, uh, when my uh, daughter was being born, the reason the word nipple confusion was up there, I had five cameras next to my wife um, as the baby was about to be born. Of course, she'd said no photographs, but she was drugged, so what, what, she couldn't do anything about it. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so I had my Polaroid, my Nikon, my Leica, a 3D camera, and a video camera. And my nipple confusion, you know, nipple confusion is when the baby doesn't know whether to use the bottle or the nipple, so you don't want to do that too soon. Um, all the things I learned as a new father. Um, I couldn't figure out which camera to use as, as Phoebe was being born. Um, my kids obviously have been photographed a lot over the years, um, and uh, it's one of my favorite photographs. They, this is their father's uh, little cabinet in East Hampton that they get into every year. So I want to tell you three very, very quick stories, and I'll do this very quickly. I read to my son every night before he goes to bed. I have this evening tradition, and, uh, and then we turn off the lights, we snuggle, and I say, Jesse, I love you a zillion times around the world. And he goes, Dad, I love you more. I said, no, I love you more. And this goes on, you know, until he falls asleep. So we're laying in bed. Um, we, we actually, some little girls had come over for the weekend, spent the whole weekend playing with my daughter. And my son had been hanging out with them. My daughter's older. And I was thinking how different the world is today. And we get into bed that night. And uh, Jesse said, he's falling asleep. And he says, Dad, can I ask you a question? I said, sure. And he said, and we're now in, we're completely in the dark. And he goes, um, is it true that to uh, make a baby, and I'm, he's six years old, and, he's, and I'm going, oh, God, here we go. And he says, is it true to make, that to make a baby that a boy has to put his penis inside a girl's vagina with a B? And, I, and I, I'm trying not to laugh. And I said, uh, yeah. And he said, does it hurt? I said, um, no. It, he said, how long do you have to leave it in for? <laughs> and, and I said, well, um, as long as it feels good. He goes, oh, does it feel good? And I'm going, oh, this is, I'm going in the wrong direction here. <laughs> so I'm trying to just get through this, and I'm trying not to laugh, and then his breathing slows down, and I think he's asleep, and then this little voice comes out, and he goes, Dad, if I wanted to have a baby, could I just adopt? <laughs> so the next morning, I wake him up, he's brushing his teeth, and he suddenly takes the toothbrush out, and he goes, Dad, was I adopted? Because uh, you, you could just see the, the things that are clicking away. Okay, second very fast story is um, this last summer, he was on a play date and he came home and he was very upset about something. He wouldn't tell me what it was. We get into bed, same thing. I think he's falling asleep. And he said, Dad, I have to ask you about something. I said, yeah, what? He goes, some kids today were saying really bad words and we were playing on the beach. And I said, what were the words? And he goes, I can't tell you. And I said, well, why? He said, well, because you told me I can never say these words. And I said, well, but tell me what it was, because I, I want to know what it was. What, I want to talk to the parents. And he goes, Dad, I can't tell you. I said, come on, Jesse, tell me. He says, it's the O word. And I said, it's the what? He goes, it's the O word. I said, I know what the F word is, the C word, the B word. I said, Jesse, I, I don't know, what, it, what is the O word? He goes, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> OK, last story. <laughs> okay. Last story. Okay, we adopted a little rescue dog, and uh, now I have to get up at 6.30 in the morning and take the dog out at 11.30 at night. So last summer, I'm out walking the dog at 11.30 at night, and I look up at the sky as I'm walking back into the house we were in Long Island, and there was the most amazing sea of, uh, sea of stars, unlike anything I've ever seen before. And as I looked up, the shooting star goes by. And you know, I don't believe in all this stuff, but you know, if you see a shooting star, you have to make a wish. So I was thinking, what would I wish for? And I was thinking, this, this, you know, the um, Reflections of the Digital Mirror Project, we were just on, just on the verge of signing a sponsorship, and it was touch and go, and I thought, okay, I'm going to wish for this project to come through. And then I thought, you know, if, it, if this is real, if a wish really works, I should probably wish for something more important. I was thinking, I wish that my kids are healthy for the rest of their lives. So I go back in. The next morning, I'm out walking the dog with Jesse. I said, Jesse, I saw the shooting star last night. And I said, he said, did you make a wish, Dad? I said, yeah, I did. And uh, he said, what was it? I said, well, you know, I was going to wish that the project, because you always ask me, did you get the project? Did you get the project? I said, I was going to wish the project came through, but then I thought, you know, a better wish would be for you and Phoebe to be healthy your whole life. And he said, Dad, 
now I can prove I love you more than you love me. And I said, why? He goes, you had to think about whether... <laughs> Um, sorry, the book. Um, uh, anyway, so uh, uh, the profoundness of nine-year-olds. Anyway, um, I want to thank Jay and, uh, and Mark and Richard uh, for bringing us all together for this incredible experience of, of being here together. And uh, this is one of my most treasured uh, times of the year. And thank you so much for having me here. Okay.